Hi guys, Camper Josh here. I hope you guys are doing well. It's time for a road trip. It's time to head from the northeast of England all the way down to Fetford Forest to see Dave from Northern Outdoors. So see you guys at camp. <laughs> Good to be here. I'm back out again for another camp in a new location this time, Fetford Forest. Absolutely beautiful place and I'm out today with you know who, Dave from Northern Outdoors. How are we doing guys? So what we're going to do is set up our camping spot and I'll catch you guys in a bit. Thank you. 
our beds are now all made up. Power point with the A frame support. Beds nicely snug underneath. Over here, Dave's got the same with his DD tarp, and I've gone for the ball green. It's not been touched in years properly, this area. So, mate, that's the second time I've ever done that. Yeah, well First done, time man. over there when well I done. went on my own for staking woods. Again, I won't know. I won't know how to do it myself. I won't be watching like Craig and that's it. Simon and Kent Survival, Andy and all that lot. Learning from each other, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Learning new skills. I've learned a lot just being with you as well. Yeah, man. Same. Like Craig says, East Anglian Bushcraft, he said it's not about your wood prep, it's about the placement of the wood. It's not about chucking it straight on, mm. placing it in certain places. <laughs> Dave's done a good job on that fire. Soon, I'll be getting my cast iron skillet on there and cooking up a nice juicy steak, eggs and chips as well. Spare chips for Dave as well. I'm going to make you some chips, Dave. You making some chips? Yeah, man. About the same as last ones? Yep. No worries, man. <laughs> it's all about sharing. You got your salt and pepper for him? Oh, yeah. Fetford Forest is a place that is full of history. So as I'm walking, let's have a little talk about the history of Fetford Forest. Fetford Forest is England's largest lowland pine forest, covering 19,000 hectares, but it is not an ancient woodland. It owes its origins to the First World War, when Britain had difficulty in meeting the wartime demand for timber. To ensure the country would not find itself facing another shortage in times of war, the Forestry Act of 1919 created the Forestry Commission with responsibility to develop a new public forest estate to produce timber. In the 1930s, labour camps were set up. The camps were run by ex-soldiers to house the unemployed, whose dole money was only paid if they attended. The men worked in gangs put in forest infrastructure, often in isolated and rough conditions and with strict discipline. During the Second World War, the site became an army camp and with most of the fit and able men called up to fight, just at the time when those first plantings needed thinning and pruning, Teams of women were recruited who became known as Lumberjills. Until the 1980s, all the forestry work was done manually. 
but nowadays the process is carried out with machinery. The wood is eventually used for fence posts, decking, telegraph poles, furniture and wood chip for paper and fuel. Today the Forestry Commission manages the forest by balancing the needs of timber production with those of wildlife, people and archaeology. Being amongst this beautiful forest, knowing its well-documented history, makes for a perfect experience to camp. Cheers guys. Mm. So good. Good. Good man. Mm. If you've made it this far in the video, first of all, thank you very much. And if you're not yet subscribed, why not click on that little subscribe button? It means the world to me. It's great to have you guys on board as well, joining the adventure. That is life. And I hope I can encourage you as well to get out there, enjoy nature. Either if that's going for a walk in your local woods or pitching up your tent in the woods. Leave no trace. So I'm gonna have this food, drink this beer, and I'm gonna switch the camera off and just enjoy the moment with Dave. Cheers guys, appreciate you guys massively.
Good morning guys, I hope you guys are doing well. It was a good night last night, me and Dave having a good laugh around the fire, a little bit of whiskey too, listen to music. It was a good time, good vibes. And uh woke up this morning with a nice view in front of me. Beautiful mossy ground, lots of green, very picturesque, good way to wake up. So what I'm gonna do now is probably slowly pack up and head on out. But yeah, thanks for watching the video guys and thanks for joining in. So I'll catch you guys in a bit. How do you sleep, man? Morning. Yeah, man, good. Good. Nice and comfy ground. Slept like a log. A couple of beers and that out fire helped. But yeah, it's a lovely morning just listening to His Majesty's jets flying over. Rudely woke us up, so we're going to go around to RAF base in a minute, give him a knock on the door and tell him to stop playing around with loud noises this early in the morning. Whether they're listening or not, it's another matter. <laughs> but it's a glorious day. It sure is, man. Well, guys, that's another camp done. Cheers Dave. Cheers dude. We're actually off to another camp now to meet Jordan, the bearded adventurer. But thanks for joining this adventure and we'll see you soon. Peace.